Yo guys, my name is John and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a simplistic, minimalistic rain meter background. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet, but probably something around there. Uh, I like to apologize ahead of time because for some reason my audio got cut off or really f messed up from the actual uh, first recording I did, of, of when I did this. So it was supposed to be a live recording, but now it's going to be a voiceover. As you can see on the screen, I am opening a folder that I actually gave you guys in the description box below. So you guys can open it up and copy it over into your phone, into your desktop, and follow along with me. And it's just basically there for you to use. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to show you how to use, how to make a wall, minimalistic wallpaper to your liking. Um, so it's very easy. The first things you do um, are going to be the first way to replace the color of whatever minimalistic background you want is to go to image adjustments and then replace color select the color you want to replace and then go into the color picker on the bottom half and just change it to whatever color you want it to be you can change any color it could be purple to red uh, blue to yellow green you know anything you want to change or you can change it but you have to be very careful because if you want to change a gray or white area or a black area and because if your picture has a lot of gray or white or black in the picture and you're trying to change a gray area it can whatever that gray area is is going uh, is is being affected uh the black area and the white area is going to be affected as well because of because of them having the same kind of color on the same kind of spectrum of like black to yellow or black to black uh, yellow to uh white to black so you be very careful when you want to change black uh gray white or black areas because it's going to affect the entire picture. I'll show you the second way of how to change the color is that's to choose the magic wand, select the area, whatever area it is, I'm using the hair, and to use the fill bucket paint tool and select whatever color and to fill it in. I use red for an example. And right here I'm going to show you guys a very, very quick way of how to get it onto, uh, how to get a minimalistic wallpaper onto the background, into your area. Very, very simple, very, very easy. I'm just taking this uh, Kingdom Hearts Sora background, lipstick, I forgot what artist it is, um, and I'm just propping him in and changing the color of what he is to fit the theme. Uh, I like to take this moment to to make sure to always credit the uh, artist, if you're even taking the artist and you're going to change it to how you want it to look like, always credit who made it, um, if everyone kind of references it or wants to know where it is. Uh, all these wallpapers I'm using, I believe, is by, um, I forgot her name, uh, Green Maple 17 I don't know if it's his or him or her, but he made all these wallpapers, it's very, very simple to use and very, very nice. Um, so here, to, to get the wallpapers onto your desk, onto your desktop, is very, very easy. You just right click your desktop, go down to personalize, this is Windows 10 if you're different anyone else. Uh, click, uh, click on personalize. Uh, click on background slideshow and choose what the wallpaper folder uh, in the raw file I, I gave you guys and change to put the setting as change picture every one minute, shuffle it on, choose a fit and it's, it's going to be filled. Um, and very simply, very easy, you just put in uh, You can also use a custom color, which I don't recommend, but you can use it. I don't like it for the reason why it's not a gradient, it's just a flat color. So it doesn't it doesn't really look good, but I'm going to show you guys how to use it just in case you guys want to use it. So you're going to go to 1920 Stereo Custom No, load it in. That's load in, you don't see it yet, but it's loaded in. And we're going to RGB code uh, from underneath desktop VU Meter 3. We're going to load that in. And you can see here that I already cust I made a little custom color uh, ahead of time to show you guys. It's pink. I made a pink color. I made uh, you can use any color you want, but you can just click it and you make it pink. And this is the opacity of how of how I guess o uh, opaque you want to you want to see your um your rain meter uh, virtualizer. 
uh, you can set it to half to make it like transparent or you can make it you can just not, not see it all for no reason or you can make it full colored and brightness that's just what I did um, this is the opacity for the mirror so they're underneath the underneath the actual bars themselves you can have it mirrored so you can see a little I guess like a a, 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 a what do you call it? a reverse or a flipped version of the virtualizer itself I don't want that because you're not gonna see anything maybe besides anyways because it's just on the bottom and you can't really see underneath that so point is I just made it pink and I'll pass these high press OK and now we play the music it's pink uh, you don't really want that so we're just gonna click blue or whatever kind of color you want and you're gonna use that um, I'm very sorry for those who don't like green blue or red um, you're pretty much stuck with the custom no gradients um, yeah I'm just very sorry uh, so we're gonna load in the blue one because that's what I like to use. That's the wrong one. There's also different styles. That's we're just using LED ones. There's L2s. You can play it with it how you want. Uh, there's very there's a lot of customization to your virtualizer. So we're gonna use the custom blue nose, 1920s. Load it in. Perfect. Now, for you audio files out there, um, I know you guys like to mess with your settings and and how you want to like see your virtualizer so you can click the desktop view meter 3 go to settings and you can see the um, the attack the K how fast you want it to go up how fast you want it to rise down or slow you want to rise down like you can play with so many different settings I'm not gonna mess with that because I tried it to do that before and I just got really confused and it broke everything so I just set it to default and there's that so us regular people uh, not us audio the ones that aren't audio files we just leave it at that and we just call it bygones be bygones so there's that just took a drink I'm sorry sorry um so afterwards we're going to just load in everything else we need so we're gonna go to elegance 2 clock load that in horizontal very simple you want to uh, change this color you just go to configuration click how you want it to change the colors um we're gonna click blue of course and then we're going to go to, you can choose either 24 military time or you can choose 12 or we're going to 12 hour time. Uh, I go by 12 hour time because that's what I'm used to. Um, there's that. Very simple. You're going to go to La Champagne, the French clock thingy. And you're going to go to the English. You're going to load that in. It always comes in Dutch for you guys. And you're going to load it in here. And it's going to display very simple right there. Display is Thursday, the 7th of January, 2016. Um, happy New Year guys, and we're gonna use that and that's very simple very that's very much there That's it. That's it. Here I'm showing it's very very simple a, a Honeycomb how to make your own honeycomb so I list I gave you guys a folder full of honeycomb icons So just choose whatever color you like with that background uh, So I like the blue of the Facebook honeycomb, but I don't like the having a Facebook icon I just put a rectangle over it uh, and made that rectangle into the background color, which is the blue with the eyedropper tool. I copy and pasted the Steam one over to the uh, face to the fa to the Facebook icon layer, and it's now it's just blue. It's very very simple. Now uh, here is a very very complicated part. I'm showing you guys how to get the honeycombs to actually make that overlay wallpaper. So you're gonna take the honeycomb plus GLL uh, folder and put it into the Skins folder in the rain meter area, which is in whatever you named your PC, documents, rain meter, and skins. Now you're gonna go in there, you're gonna go to add resources, images, and then put whatever honeycomb you made into there and name it whatever whatever um whatever you named it as. I'll show you guys later that I'm using Vimeo as a uh, an example. So I'm just taking a pre or, or a, co a, a copy of a folder I already created, the YouTube one, I renamed it Vimeo. Now I'm clicking into it, I'm going to the background folder, I'm going to rename the, actually no, I'm going to find the background for a Vimeo one, for a Vimeo background to have an overlay. So I'm just going through finding an, a nice HD background that fits my screen resolution, so it looks very nice. And I'm going to drag it into the folder and name it Vimeo underscore. Always use underscore because that's very important. Capitalization can screw up the coding. So I'm gonna go into the background folder, the INI notepad, 
and I'm going to rename that image name as Vimeo.png, but it's not a PNG, it's a G JPG, so I made my mistake. So I put it back as a JPG. Make sure if it's a PNG, put PNG. If it's a JPEG, put JPEG. If it's a JPG, use JPG. I'm going to go into the Steam. I just named it the Steam because I'm lazy. Make sure to rename the image name as whatever it is. I put Vimeo as Vimeo. Keep everything the same, but make sure to change the mouse over action and mouse over leave action folder from mine to Vimeo. So I replaced YouTube with Vimeo. You can really replace whatever name you chose. And now it's very simple. I already had it there to YouTube. Now I'm going to use that to Vimeo. That's when you open up the uh, honeycomb itself. It's going to Vimeo.com. Next, I'm going to go to back into the resource folder and I skipped a step before, like I told you in the beginning, to drag the honeycomb, whatever it is that you've made, or one that's already in the folder, as Vimeo, wherever I can find it. There it is, Vimeo. And I copy and paste it into that folder. And it already is located Vimeo, so it's already good. And that's very much it. That's very simple. Uh, I'm showing you guys here how to find the, uh, the the launch application for a .exe for any application. Like it doesn't have to be Spotify or anything, just anything at all. You just search up in the run, right click the properties on the application, and there it is. So here I'm just I'm, I'm showing you guys how to load up and open or, or how, how it works the uh, the Vimeo that I just created. It's once I mouse over it, it shows a big Vimeo background and that's pretty much it. And then you click it and it goes to Vimeo.com. Here I'm just showing you guys how to just make to bring the honeycomb icons and spread them in the slot. Very simple, very easy, but moving very fast for you guys. I think it's time to apologize for my video if it's very confusing because this is my first time doing a voiceover video and I'm, I'm kind of new at it so I'm, I'm trying to learn my pacing and my timing. Um, so yeah, uh, if it's very confusing just mute me and look at the screen and the, visualize, the, visual, the visuals will hopefully help you better than my speaking. Um, so here I'm going to show you guys how to get the monster count visualizer. It's actually very simple, you just go to my monster visualizer, sound information, uh, normal, and then load it in. And then make sure to make the transparency 100% and on hover to fade in. And it's very simple. Uh, that's it. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video. If, it, if you guys liked it, make sure to like it and to share it with radio users all around so we can all have a really cool background. Thanks.